not even broken of perspiration. Uh, Yuzu, I am drenched head to toe. I, I can't even feel my seat anymore. There's so much sweat all over my body. I'm glistening. I look like a Krispy Kreme donut. I look horrible, dude. I'm so sweaty. Is only April? How can it be so hot? High Octane Gaming, man. And I took a shower right before this. And I always get so hot after taking showers. On account of all the joking I do, and it really burns like a lot of calories. I'm in the restroom. Do you guys joke before or after your shower to make your ding dong longer? What rank did you get? I got diamond one. Which I, I guess like a lot of people were, were saying like, uh, that's what we get. So I'll, I'll take diamond one, dude. I was expecting fucking bronze. Lily, you joke during the shower? Oh my God. Do, have you no concern for safety, dude? I, you at least wear a helmet in the shower, right? When you're doing that kind of stuff. What now during the shower? Uh, it's called joking. I shower while laying down. I don't need a helmet. What the fuck? Dude, I will say, dude, when I used to jack off a lot, like, in my younger years, when I would just be jacking it all the time, I would definitely go down in the shower and lay down. And this is in Minecraft. I'm just kind of talking about something that happened in Minecraft. Well, did you guys ever do that? Just lay down in the bathtub and just bust a fat one all over the place indiscriminately? Because, you know, you're in the water. It'll just wash it out. And then you realize that cum in Whoa. hot water hardens. And if you bust a fat one in the shower, it hardens and clogs up the drain. I didn't know about that, man. Did not know about that. Now, how did I find out? Flooded the bathroom. Does it harden with warm water? Dude, Lily, yeah, it does. It gets the fucking disgusting. I mean, cum is already, well, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. But the minute it hits warm water, it's like you dropped uh, like Elmer's glue. A cum is like a sponge. <laughs> yeah. Cum is like the Kirby of body excrement. Cum will take on like any shape you give it. We used to come in uh, like those, do you guys ever make sugar cookies like for Christmas and you get those ones that are like shaped like Santa? Me and my buddies would like go over to my one friend's house because his mom was super into like decorating things. And we used to come inside the like shapes that she had and then freeze them and then throw them at each other. You know when you're in high school and like, you know, your girlfriend is like, man, I wonder what he's doing. I hope he's not talking to other girls. Well, I was throwing a uh, frozen cum at my, uh, at my friends and just having a good time. It was awesome, dude. It's a powerful thing, dude. It kind of made me want to have kids, you know, seeing your cum form into like a, a, a Santa Claus. It's kind of beautiful. It was honestly kind of hard to throw it. Because it felt like I was throwing a part of me away. To come Santa Claus, that is. Try it, dude. It's it's really fun. It's really fucking gross, though. You capping, please? Uh, no, all these stories are as real as you, you and I. But that's what you do in Ohio, man. In Ohio, we don't have a lot of things. We have a lot of time. And that's the worst thing you could have. Worst thing to have? Too much time. Worst thing to not have? Things to do. Now you combine both of those into one childhood. In a state with which that has undoubtedly nothing you will make bad decisions man dude i remember one day we were so bored i was chilling with my friend and i said dude what do you want to do today and he looks at me and he says i don't know and i said well think of something what do you want to do and he says oh man you want to light a fire and put dog shit in the rc car and launch it in it and 
I said, Yeah, I'll get the shit. And that's what we did. We lit a fire. He had like one of those remote control, like RC, like monster trucks. We put a bunch of dog shit in the back and just built like a little ramp with like a piece of plywood and some like cinder blocks. And we just ramped these uh, shit cars over like these little, you know, piles of fire. And you know what, man? That was awesome. I miss those days, dude. I miss the days where some dog shit in an RC remote control car and some fire could keep you entertained for literal minutes. Now we got, you know, <clears throat> you know, we got all this shit. We got to watch all these freaking YouTubes. Nintendos, man. Well, guess what, man? RC cars with shit and fire pits and ramps does what Nintendo don't, dude. Okay. I guess what I'm trying to say is sometimes we got to use our imagination to have a little fun. Sometimes it's more fun to be outside and doing something kind of goofy and just being with your friends and realizing, hey man, we're not really doing anything, but it's fun to do it because we're good friends. Now, my friend that I did that with, he was a little bit more adventurous and unfortunately he drove like the, the shit car into the pile of fire and it caught fire and it was kind of going and then he lost control, went right into this propane tank uh, that his dad kept in the backyard. Horrible fucking gas explosion. Yeah, I, I miss him, man. Hope he's doing all right. I do miss him though. What am I doing on top of SpongeBob's house? Lily, what the hell do you mean? So I guess what I'm really trying to say, like above it all. Oh, the background. Oh yeah, we uh, we crashed on a desert island, dude. I'm trapped. Lily, do you think you could swim out here and bring me some like something to do? I'm trapped on this freaking island. Yeah, my plane crashed on my way back from vacation and I'm trapped on this freaking island, man. I'm getting kind of bored. It was cool at first, but I'm kind of hungry. I'll give you some buckets so you can build your sandcastle. Thanks, man. That's actually, I think, Lily, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. In our horrible, toxic, fucking god-awful friendship, that is the nicest thing you've ever said. I fucking hate you, but... Thanks, mom. I hate your fucking guts, but thanks. That means a lot. Fucking asshole. Fucking turd burglar. And Soda, thank you so much for six months, man. Thank you, mate. I'm almost making, making you tear up. You're so nice. Pussy. Fucking pussy. I'm gonna cry, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's okay, man. We're here for you. Just let it out, man. <laughs> well, you didn't finish Dark Souls yet, did you? Shut the fuck up, dude. Wait, you did you? You didn't play Dark Souls 2, did you? You only played. You played what? Three and one? Did you play two? I didn't play Dark Souls 2. Exactly, dude. Only noobs can beat two. What the fuck? What? Dude, you play you play two and then you can come back and, and say something. And I haven't beat it yet. I have not beaten it yet. So I skipped that one. No, dude. Only hardcore real-time fucking high octane gamers can beat two. Okay? Like Yuzu, high octane gamer, she beat two. Shy Lily, weak. Puny. Quite frankly, smelly. Won't beat two. Go back to your cap store. Don't mind if I do, man. 
stinky even. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all know. I don't even have to say it, man. We all know she smells strange. Not even bad, just strange. It's more one of those odors when you walk into like an old magic store. You guys ever been to like a store that just sells like magic tricks? Oh my god, they all smell bad. Not bad, but weird. It smells like if you left nacho cheese out for like a little too long and you smell it and you kind of think, man, could I still eat this? It's still nacho cheese. Still kind of good, but kind of weird. And it's not bad, but it's kind of weird. And I'll say that that's what Lily kind of smells like, man. Kind of hot in my opinion. What? The nacho cheese deodorant? Old crusted up nacho cheese deodorant, dude. Actually, actually I need to be careful with my words, man. That does sound kind of good. Did you just say that's what liberal comes from? <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> it is, man. That is what liberal cum smells like. <laughs> We're busting out that freaking <laughs> that lava cheese, baby. Shooting lava cheese straight out our ding hole. Them libs in their cum. That's right. All their cum smells like nacho cheese. <laughs> you can always tell when it's liberal cum. Yeah, this comes gonna cancel student loan debt, dude. If we band together. They're turning the nachos gay. <laughs> They're cheesing the They're cheesing the economy. They're turning the cheesy gordita crunches gay. So, Ethel, did you manage to grab it yet, by the way? What the fuck does this mean, Lily? Oh, I don't want to answer you, dude. That's not a D's nuts joke, dude. That's that's just saying D's nuts after a question. That doesn't count, dude. 